Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine the coin Ergo, and that's on the algorithm, I believe it's pronounced Auto Lycos 2, I think it's pronounced, or something like that. Sorry if I butchered that, I'm just going to refer to it as um, Ergo for the rest of the video. So when I reference that, I'm also referencing the algorithm I just said. But I'm going to show you guys how to set it up for GPU mining on 3 gigabyte and higher graphics cards. The most profitable way right now to mine Ergo is actually through 4 gigabyte graphics cards. And we'll go over that a bit later, like in the video here, I'll go over that on their website and such. But we're going to be focusing mainly on, like I said, the 3 gigabyte graphics cards. Because most of the time that's what I like tend to focus on is like the lower end. So if you have some 3 gigabyte graphics cards kicking around, sit back because this tutorial will be for you. But also the DAG size on this algorithm is 2.5 gigabytes. So even if you have one that's like 2.5 gigabytes or even like a very low end 3 gigabyte one, this algorithm may work for you as it's strictly for GPUs and like more so lower end, but it is also for like ones like my 4 gigabyte one here. So it's most profitable obviously with the more power and the better graphics cards, but you can still cut a profit like with my current setup I could pull in over I believe it's a dollar a day if I had more like uh, power draw to it and such because you know the issues with my graphics cards with the power limits with at least my one three gigabyte right there it just has a heating issue so I have to turn the power limit right down so therefore I'm losing a good chunk of uh, hash rate but if I ran these things both fully like uh, if I had that one at like 85 like I have that one at I believe I would be pulling over like a dollar five a day even like a dollar ten so it's pretty good profit for these lower end cards because I always see people online wondering what to do with three gigabyte graphics cards and I tend to see on Reddit a lot that people say, oh, it's dead, it's pointless, there's no profit, but there is actually profit to be made. It's just do the research and like take the time to look into it because sometimes like just going off of someone's like thing on Reddit is not always like the best scenario because like I've said, most miners, you can even look at on YouTube, like if you look at most mining channels, they always stick to like the higher end graphics cards so most people are tend to stick to mining ethereum and spending a huge budget but i like to focus on like the smaller budget miners like myself and others across the community here but we can always build up over time and that's part of it right but anyways back to the main focus of the video and that's mining ergo so let's go over to my computer and i'll show you how to get started and set up on that all right, so now we're over on my computer here and we're just gonna take a look at the Ergo website quickly, like I do with most coins before we start the mining process here. So what pretty much Ergo is, is a more advanced version of Ethereum from what I understand. It, it's on its own blockchain, I believe. I don't believe it's ran off Ethereum. I think it's its own. And it has more like DeFi functionality and things like that, more like advanced things than what Ethereum has from what I can understand at least. Don't quote me on that. That's just from what I can read and understand on things. So it seems like it might be a pretty solid coin to kind of mine and build up a little bit. Like I said, I'm not endorsing it, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I just solely do this so it, I just go where like the profit is. And if it's profitable, I'll make a video on it. But as you see on the website here, it gives you a quick description. Ergo builds advanced cryptographic features and radically new DeFi functionality on the rock solid foundations laid by a decade of blockchain theory and development. So they've been working on it for quite some time and like getting the technology and like building upon it over years and years. And then they finally came out with uh, I believe it's the blockchain and then the coin itself ergo but anyways quickly here we're gonna take a look at the algorithm part of it so we're just gonna click on the mining tab up top here and we're just gonna go over this information quickly here mainly this last paragraph here and it just talks about the algorithm and like the actual like focus behind ergo and how it focuses on, focuses on GPU mining itself ergo mining is based on auto Lycos version 2 I believe I'm pronouncing that right so it's a version 2 to the algorithm. A proof of work algorithm uh, designed to be ASIC resistant, miners have to perform memory hard computations. At least 2.5 gigabytes of memory is needed, but the current most efficient implementation utilizes around 4 gigabyte of VRAM. So as I was for referring to 4 gigabytes, so mainly the 4 gigabyte graphics cards, I believe that's what it's referring to. That makes ergo friendly for GPU mining. Unlike the first version of the algorithm, uh, the version 2 algorithm does not require access to private keys, thereby allowing mining pool formation. 
As soon as a correct solution is found, the miner broadcasts the block along with the solution and is able to collect the block reward after the delay of 720 blocks using the secret of his mining address. So to put that in the context, it's designed specifically for GPUs and it's ASIC resistant. So you're just battling against pretty much other GPUs. It's just a GPU friendly network. And unlike the first version of the algorithm, this version two, it doesn't require any like access to the private keys, I believe for your wallet. So when it gives you like mining pool, when you're mining to like a pool and trying to get blocks and things, and when the correct solution is found, the block answer and like solution is broadcasted a lot simpler and faster instead of having to access like the private key I believe because I believe that's how the first version of the algorithm worked. So this verifies it just through the secret of like your mining address. It's some kind of like secret access answer or something like that from what I can understand to do with the block reward. I'm not going to go too in depth because I'm just mainly here for the mining. But sorry about that long intro. I just wanted to show you guys that it is a GPU friendly algorithm. And I like providing a lot of information if you can't really tell. <laughs> so you'll probably see the miners list right here. Nano miner, NB miner, SRB miner, team red miner. And these are the mining softwares that are compatible with um, Ergo and like the auto Lycos algorithm. But if you actually take a look at Awesome Miner here, I've used this in the past, and it tells you all like the programs and compatible like uh, graphics cards. As you see, there's also T-Rex Miner that you can use and LOL Miner as well. So I'm probably going to be focusing on T-Rex Miner for this one as it's NVIDIA, as that's what I like to focus on. But if you're also like on AMD and you're watching this, you could follow this tutorial and just reference the same instructions to your specific miner. But if we go back to the website, uh, I believe there's, yeah, the mining pool area. It shows you what pools you can use to go ahead and mine Ergo. We're going to be focusing on using two miners and I'll be showing you that. But if you already know your mining hash rate, you could also put that in down below here. And that's going to tell you your daily profit. Or you can go ahead and use a mining web, uh, mining profit website. I'll post one in the description below. So you can either use this or one that's uh, like miner stat or something. So you can add your power consumption and stuff like that in as well. So once you're over on two miners here, because as I said, this is the pool I'm going to be using for the tutorial. You're going to be on this home page here. And it's going to give you the overall price of Ergo right now. And the current like uh, percentage wise for the last 24 hours. The pool hash rate and just information that you want to take in kind of before you start this venture so you can kind of see what payout rates and things like that might be like but if we scroll down here there's two options pool dashboard or quick start we can just click on quick start here so this is going to show you all the information you need to input into your mining software but one thing we got to do before we actually get started is focus on creating like a wallet here and what we can do is use the official ergo wallet or you can use like an exchange wallet. So for example, like it says on the website here, gate.io or Hotbit and set up a wallet on an exchange or use the official wallet on your computer or use the Android version of the wallet as well. I don't know if there's one for iOS cause I use Android myself. But once you set up a wallet and have a wallet address for Ergo, then you'll be good to go with two miners open. Then you're set to continue to follow along here. So what we're going to want to do now is download the mining software itself. So like I said, either if you're on NVIDIA, you'll want to use T-Rex Miner as I find that's the best mining software to actually use for NVIDIA. You get the most like hash rate out of it, I find, but that's just for my cards that I use here. But if you're on uh, AMD, but also NVIDIA as well, you can use LOL Miner. This is another one I recommend. I've used it in the past with, um, I forget, Hive OS, I believe it was, and it r ran really well in it. And since this is like a new algorithm and such, you want to make sure you're getting the latest release version. So we want to go over to the side here and click on releases. And this will be for both LOL Miner and T-Rex Miner. You want to click on the releases tab here on the right hand side and at the very top here is going to be the most latest release so it'll say it right beside it latest release and you just want to download that whichever version that you do need so i'm just going to download it here follow so you guys can follow along for this tutorial purpose but i always recommend sometimes downloading like two different miners just in case you want to compare like hash rate and see if there's a better one for your graphics card or if maybe one miner isn't picking up your graphics card, try a different one. Like I said, there's multiple miners for a reason. I'm just using this one because it's the one I prefer and it's the one I recommend to most people. But once you have it downloaded, 
what you want to do is go to your downloads folder and then once you're at your downloads folder here you just want to right click on wherever you downloaded it go to the extraction tool so it might say winrar or 7zip depending which one you have and then you want to extract it to and then the folder name but don't open the folder we're going to do what we normally do here click on the windows setting or the windows start menu button here sorry it's just a lot of words coming out right now you click on settings and once you're there you click on update and security and once you're there you want to click on windows security and then virus and threat protection you want to scroll or actually no you just want to click on manage settings right here then you want to scroll down and click add or remove exclusions click on yes click add an exclusion click add a folder and then click on the t-rex one you can double click it to make sure you have it selected and then you just want to hit select and then another window might pop up and you just click yes on that as well and then that will be that for the exclusion this just bypasses it through the firewall and everything like that because it's not a verified publisher so once you're done with the window settings you can just close them out and then once that's done you can go to your download section or wherever you downloaded it and then you can open up the file folder now and you're going to see all these windows batch files and these are all the different algorithms that you can go ahead and try to mine depending on your uh, graphics card like i said each one is dependent on the dag size and things like that if you're new to mining this is just like i'm just saying but if you're already a miner you already know that but what we want to do is you can go ahead and go to the readme is usually what i do for most miners so you can get an understanding of like the configuration the setup and like what all algorithms it can do but what we're going to be focusing on is like i said the ergo one so it's going to be listed right here for us ergo dash and then two miners because that is the pool we're going to be using so we'll just go over to that and then we're just going to open up the file folder here so you just want to right click on it and then click edit and it should open it with notepad or whatever you're using i have my text a bit bigger just for the video purpose so it's a bit easier to see everything but as you see here this is the basic command line and you can also get it from two miners right here yourself if it doesn't pop up for you for some reason or if you just want to make one your way uh, you can go ahead and copy the line right here just to make sure it's the same so once you have it matched up and it's the settings for the pool there as you see here trex.exe a which stands for algorithm is auto lycos 2 i believe like i said sorry if i'm butchering that and then dash o and then your stratum is going to be right there so that's going to be the url that you want to pull from right here but like i said it's a preset one so what you want to do is actually leave that one depending on the port number as well because if we go up here so it seems like all port ones are the same so it doesn't matter just depends on if you want to use us or if you want to use their main pool server that's like their global server i guess you can call it or you can go region specific it doesn't really matter it's it all depends on your internet and the ping and the connection you're getting when the share is accepted but once you have that figured out you just paste that right there for your stratum and then after the dash u is going to be where your wallet address goes so it's going to be your ergo wallet whether you downloaded it on your computer or if you downloaded it on your mobile I have it on my mobile, but I'm not going to type it in right now because I just don't feel like sitting here typing it character by character. But right here, you're going to put your Ergo wallet and then you can have dot rig, which is like your rig name. You can name that to whichever you want. But if we look down here, it's going to say dash W dot rig ID. So what you want to do is figure out which one is going to work for whatever pool setting you have. Sometimes, uh, most of the time, I should say, it's going to work with the one that it default comes with. So this one that we opened up, you just want to put the rig name after it here. But very like far and few, it is a pool setting. So sometimes you do have to like copy it this way. And in this case, you would put the wallet address and then you would take this out. And then you would add a space in there and paste that. Or did I not copy that? Copy. Oh, yeah, I cut that. Oops. So you'd paste that there and that's how that would go for your rig ID or you could go back and have it the other way. So I'll just undo, undo, undo. Oh, so we'll just do it like that. Sorry, I'm not, I usually don't use notepad unless it's editing these batch files. I usually use notepad plus plus, but yeah, so you would just undo it and leave it like that. Or you could go ahead and use it this way, depending on which way works. Now, sorry if that was confusing by any means, I try to make it simple. 
So like I said, it's just depending on when you get it up and running, if it's gonna spit back errors is when you switch it. But once you have that inputted and then you leave password as X, you just click file and save, and that will save like that. And then all you would do is run the batch file right there. You double click on it and it'll open up the miner itself. Mine's not gonna work because this is my card here. But as you see, it'll open up and yours should start running. Mine's going to spit an error out because I don't have a GPU in this one right now. So yeah, if we look back at the website, there's settings for each one. LOL, Miner, T-Rex, Team Red, and B. So there's a few different ones if you just want to refer to that. Like I said, all these rig ID things depend on the pool. You just try it and if it doesn't accept it, then try it the other way. Sorry if it was confusing or if I'm rambling on. I just want to make it clear for you guys. But yeah, that'll be all it takes to get up and running for like ergo mining. And if you want to check your stats, right at the top here where it has twominers.com, you want to put in your wallet address right at the top here. And that's after you have a few shares accepted. And it might take a few minutes after that to actually display. But it'll keep like an updated stat page and everything. I would show you guys, but I'm not currently mining ergo. I just wanted to make this tutorial for you guys. Like I said, I had the voting going on. So I wanted to see which video you guys wanted first. So I'm still going to do the other one, the Equihash one. But just at a later date, which is no problem at all. But yeah, so once you're up and running and once your shares are accepted, you put your wallet address in up top there and you'll see all your stats and how much you're making and everything. Like I said, always better to calculate beforehand. I'm not a fan of using minor stat and things like that. So maybe it's better off running the software for a bit to see. But if you're a person that doesn't like to waste profit and things like that, you can go ahead and roughly use um, like minor stat and get a rough estimate on things. But yeah, again, sorry if I ended up rambling on in this video. I hope I didn't end up rambling on and dragging it on too long. I just like giving out information and really going in depth with things because I feel like that's an advantage with me. I have the patience and time and I will research things and try it out for a while before I go ahead and post a video. I'm not just going to post a video because someone recommends it. I'm going to take that recommendation and look into it, see how it runs, do some tests, see if I can get it running on two gigabyte and just look at the information behind the actual algorithm and the coin. And I bring that information to you guys. So that's why these tutorials end up being a little bit of a rambling session and like a knowledge session because I try to make a tutorial but also a learning basis so you know you know the the things behind your mining and what you're doing and the algorithms behind it but yeah that's all I pretty much got for you guys today if you did enjoy make sure to hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button so I know you're enjoying the content and that way I can bring more to you guys that way it just lets me know that the feedback is good and you're enjoying these type of rambling and tutorial kind of mixed into one. But I hope you all have an amazing day and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.